name is Fat Mike, I'm an old punk rocker Who's more well known for being a shit talker A troublemaker and iconoclast I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast Andrew, I'm doing some podcasts right now Okay So I'm going to start this conversation over Sounds good Okay Andrew Deja vu. Deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm talking to Andrew Wixon, my music publisher, uh, and and uh, good friend. So I just realized that there's a Me First in the Gimme Gimme song, uh, the only one that wasn't written by somebody else. Uh, who was this one written by? Oh, let me tell you, Andrew. It was written by me, by moi. What? By the, yeah, that's exactly, yeah, what? The person you are talking to right now wrote a Gimme song. Anyway, yeah, I know. This sounds staged. It's really not, but we're playing it off like it is. Anyway, so uh, there's a video called Me First and the Gimme Gimme's Do a Hoedown or something. Mm -hmm. I'm about to watch the video. So I wrote the song, so can you publish it for me? Yeah, that's easy to do. That's what you do? Yeah, that's what I do. All right. So, uh, it's nice talking to you. I'm going to get back to my podcast now. Sounds good. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. You too. Bye, Bye buddy. So, I think I made... I, I don't need to explain anything. I, I will tell you that this video... We were just filming... Uh, we were taking pictures, photos for our album cover. Me first in the game, game is Love Our Country. And we went to an old Western town and just funny things happened. So Kent just filmed it on his iPhone and we turned it into a video. But uh, you know what I learned this day? I learned a lot. I learned that you shouldn't try to put three guys on a horse at the same time. Uh, Chris Shiflett from the Foo Fighters and Spike, they learned that lesson the hard way. Uh, as you'll see at the end, it's so great how they fall off this gnarly horse, like a Clydesdale. And they're just like, brush themselves off, put their hat on, like they're in a fucking rodeo or something. Uh, I also learned that Joey Cape from Lagwagon, uh, he can line dance. He knows how to country dance. Like, how, where do you learn that? He grew up in Santa Barbara. Was he had a cotillion? Or, uh, how do you learn how to, how do you learn how to do the two-step? in the punk scene in Santa Barbara. It's just weird. Uh, the third thing I learned is, uh, you know, I wear a lot of hats. In this video, uh, I wear five hats, in fact. Uh, country style hats. Still, uh, country fans still don't like me. <sighs> Why isn't it going? It's going. Yeah, you're gonna have to sit in and show. I wanna be a bareback ride cowboy. I wanna wear loose chaps over tight jeans. I'm gonna wear a Stetson hat. I'm gonna dress in blue and black. Wanna produce we look good. There it is! Mm -hmm. I wear a lot of hats! Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I'd like to be proficient. Here we go. Everybody, Joey Cape. I'd like to learn to skip to someone who. I want to build a barbed wire fence Smith and Wesson self-defense That's fucking 
for real, legit. Dave, he's the guy. He wears his hat like that. <laughs> what happened? Here we go, here we go. You know, I've lived, this is living right here. If we fall, we'll pretend that we're, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, baby. I mean, uh, yeah, who expects that? That's so funny. Uh, it, you know, that that's why I'm doing this, this little show here, to show videos that uh, I was a part of that people don't even know about it's fucking funny shit damn see they just got up like they were fine all right i think we're done here